Hello, hello, hello. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. As you have know, this is my first video on YouTube. Okay, so we all know Halloween's coming up and my first look is going to be Cruella de Vil. So the whole month of October, Wes and I decided that we are going to be doing a theme of Disney characters. Um, and he'll be doing gory and deep and dark and I'll be doing more of like the fun, glam Disney side of it. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Was that was good. I'm gonna be using those colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. Ooh, and if you haven't seen it, that's what it looks like. Bam. Check it out. And I'm using the shade 120 Light Medium. You know, that girl matched me with no problem with the pop-up party. Just in case if I didn't say what I'm using. <laughs> I am using Dose of Colors Foundation Meet Your Hue in the shade 120 Light Medium. And I'm gonna say that it's probably one of my favorite foundations. This is my first YouTube video that everyone's been asking for. I don't know if you guys have seen the other video where Wes has talked about, or we both have made a video together talking about how we are revamping this channel for you guys. And you guys are just gonna have a lot more new content of me and Wes, Wes and I separately, as obviously is happening right now. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. Move on to concealer. Today I am going to be using the Dose of Color Meet Your Hue Concealer in shade 18. And once again, this is new and this will be kind of the first time actually that I'm trying it. Not too shabby. Let's blend this bitch out. So matched. All right, well, I'm definitely in love with Dose of Colors Concealer and Foundation. Definitely recommend you buying it. So we're gonna be blending a little different today because Corella DeVille has really strong cheekbones. You're gonna contour your um, cheek a little higher than normal to give you a really, really strong cheekbone because you're gonna be blending downwards. And we're gonna blend down, girls. Okay, so as you can tell, cheekbones are coming in. And after everything's set, we're gonna go in with a cooler tone color and make the cheekbones stronger. From Sigma Sculpt Palette, we're going into Hollow. Right, where we went ahead and made that harsh line. We're gonna go right underneath of it and we're going to make it a little more harsher. So normally, Corella DeVille has um, red lips with black brows. I'm gonna change it up a bit and I'm going to do red brows. All right, so for the brows, I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick. This shade is Rich Blood. She's got a red, red brow. Now that the brows are colored in, we're gonna move into the eyeshadow. And for the eyeshadows, we're gonna stay matte and I'm gonna dip into the James Charles and Morphe collab. And we're gonna be using the two greens that he has in the palette. I'm gonna use this one for the crease and this one on my lid. All right, now I'm getting some like Poison Ivy vibes. Let's be real. What I plan on doing is doing basically like a halo, but like matte not with like a shimmer in the middle. And in the middle, we're just gonna do a really bright, a little more vibrant green. And I did go ahead and dip into the black just to deepen that crease a little more and darken that color. So now I'm gonna get that light color green and pack it into the middle of my lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get the dark green and bring it underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip up some latex and I'm gonna apply it and rip it off and make it look like my skin showing through a um, Dalmatian. Okay, so this is the liquid latex that I picked up. Oh, God. If you've never used latex before, that shit smells. So I went ahead and poured it into a little clear container. Now I'm gonna get this little sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and tap it and concentrate in the one area that I wanna apply it on. By the way, don't put it on any hair because you'll find out if you do. Smells. And so this only takes about a couple minutes to dry. And now we're gonna wait for it to dry. Latex is usually a little shiny, a little tacky, so we're gonna go ahead and get a fluffy brush and we're gonna set it. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and get a little tweezers and go ahead and create a hole inside latex. So now we're going to go ahead and pull out the inside out. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish clearing up my little holes on the rest of the latex. So I went ahead and added foundation on top of the edges of all the latex because they did come up a little shiny, which is fine, but we're set. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and get a white concealer, fill in the holes, and then make some polka dots. So the concealer I'm gonna be using is gonna be the white concealer from the Fluidy Launch that Wesley was a part of. So cute, or whatever. She's real pigmented, she's real thick, and she's real white. I'm gonna go ahead and start making the dots. I'm gonna use this Annabelle Eye Ink Bubble but it's cool because it has round tips. All right, just finished the spots. But now we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to give myself a little spray. <laughs> so cold! All right, with the help of Wes, I went ahead, well, he went ahead and gave me that perfect line down the middle. So if you do want to do this, make sure you have a friend, a mom, a sister, or brother by you, or a girlfriend, or sister, or boyfriend, lover, whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to move on into my lips. I'm gonna be using a MAC um, lipstick, it's matte, and I'm gonna be doing more spots on my lips. Oh, she smells like vanilla. All right, so I went ahead and I just laid down the lipstick and now I'm going to dip into a the white inside the James Charles palette and set my lip. Now that the lips are set, I'm going to go ahead and make some more polka dots. Here's a look guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I threw on some red gloves, I threw in a little fur, did a little judge and this is it. I hope you guys like the look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys create it. If there's anything you guys want us to make or me to make, go ahead and leave some comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me at, at Matt Lars for Instagram.